Good morning, everybody. My name is Simon Gonzalez, and this morning I will be talking about soccer in the country of Brazil. O país do futebol, which translates into the, the country of soccer, is built by many Brazilians in the country of Brazil. A lot of Americans don't place any significance in the sport of soccer. Brazilians see it, see it as a means of economic, social, and cultural influence in the country. But I will discuss how the economic, social, and cultural impact that soccer plays in the country of Brazil. Before I, I get to my next point, I have, to, I have to say that there's different types of ways that soccer can be played in Brazil. First of all, we have futebol, which is regular soccer that is played on the field, 11 versus 10 to 11. Then we have futebol, which is volleyball soccer, which is played with four players on each side, just like regular volleyball, only feet is used. And then we have futsal, which is indoor soccer that is played in, in an indoor arena under uh, a gym type of floor. And that is more of a 5v5 with a goalkeeper in the back. And then we have futebol de area, which is beach soccer ball, beach soccer. And uh, that is usually played like 3v3 with the goalie. And then uh, we have uh, also soccer in the streets. And then uh, which brings this brings me to my first point of the economic importance that soccer has in the country of Brazil. If you didn't know, <coughs> if you didn't know the FIFA World Cup. 2014 was played in Brazil this past summer. Before the FIFA World Cup, the previous year, there was a, also another tournament that's called the Confederations Cup, which is this one right here. The Confederations Cup is uh, played every year before the FIFA World Cup, and uh, the host country is involved as with uh, 10 other teams from uh, different countries around the whole world. Um, Brazil won the 2013 Confederations Cup, and uh, it is important economically to the country because it brings tourism and it brings a lot of revenue into the country. For example, the 2014, the 2013 FIFA Confederations Cup brought in 10.4 billion dollars to the economy of Brazil, according to an economic research institute in Brazil. Um, you know, a, the Confederations Cup provided 6,000 catering sector jobs and 76,000 hospitality staff were employed during the time of the tournament. The tournament was a month long, and this information comes from the FIFA.com, the Federation of Football Association. And uh, this past summer, the FIFA 2014, uh, it is expected that the economy, uh, it is expected that 13.5 billion dollars will will fund the economy according to a survey. It's still not sure how much money the the FIFA World Cup of, the FIFA World Cup 2014 will generate because it usually takes about a year for for the people to find out the economic research institute because it's so big the term is so big. And it takes a year to get all the information down. Uh, Brazil's Ministry of Tourism estimates the World Cup generated one million jobs for the country. Out of those, out of that million jobs, seven hundred and ten thousand were per, are permanent jobs, and two hundred and two hundred thousand, around two hundred thousand, were temporary jobs. So I just demonstrate <coughs> that. Uh, that soccer can be can bring in a lot of money to a country, and the next point is uh, local club games. Local club games are also played in the country of Brazil, and uh, these games also have a lot of workers and a lot of people that go that put work into it to make them happen. And uh, jobs such as officiating, technology, technology, transportation, security, and cleanup are all part of the jobs which people take in Brazil. So a lot of, a lot of things go into soccer. And then we also have merchandise sales. We have jersey sales. People sell jerseys in the country of Brazil. That helps the country economically because uh, many of these jerseys 
are made in Brazil, in different parts of Brazil, and are sold at local games. So that helps the economy, economy, economy as well. And uh, tourist attractions also play a big role in bringing money to the economy. For example, there's a stadium in uh, Brazil. It's called the uh, Maracanã. And uh, it is this stadium right here. Is this stadium right here? That stadium is very famous in Brazil because it has a lot of history. And uh, in, 1950, in the 1950s, the FIFA uh, Brazil, the, was the, it was the first time Brazil hosted the, the World Cup back in that year. And Brazil won it in that stadium. So it has a lot of history. And a lot of people, when they go down to Brazil, they visit the stadium. They take tourists. They take, uh, they take time out of the day to go visit the stadium and see a part of history of Brazil. Uh, this brings me to my next point in addition to to the economic influence that soccer has in the country of Brazil. We also see a social impact and uh, a social influence. And uh, when it comes to social, we see that there are different organizations down in Brazil that help people less, that are in the, like, the less fortunate areas of Brazil, which is called favelas. And I, for example, one of them is uh, Love Foot, Football, which is an organization that helps build community and engage them into the sport of soccer. For example, this organization takes people out of the local neighborhood and get volunteers, and these volunteers create soccer, like soccer fields, just for soccer in, in their local neighborhood. This is one of the ones that uh, this organization created. And you see a worker, a volunteer, volunteering his time to help make the field in the, in the favela. And then after that, after they were made, um, local kids, the local people from the local neighborhood play, take time, and they play, they play uh, games against each other. And uh, this is important because this builds community, community throughout Brazil. There's also different, like, different of these, like, local boys throughout Brazil. And not, there's not only this, but there's also others, uh, other like stadiums. For example, this one's in Rio de Janeiro. There's also one in Sao Paulo, and then the, there's another one throughout the country. And then, um, and then at, at these local soccer games, people are seen to converse and enjoy each other's company, which helps build community, community engagement. And then soccer is like a language that everybody understands. It's socially anybody that goes to Brazil and loves the game of soccer, they play, they all get along, they like to play with each other. And it's very it's very important for the the for the people of Brazil socially. And then uh, soccer also teaches lifelong lessons. For example, it teaches the, the kids when they play that practice makes better. And uh, this is a, the idea that the more they practice, the more they play, the better they'll become in the sport. And it also teaches them uh, teamwork. It teaches them to work well with others. It also teaches them that winning and uh, losing always, always uh, winning and losing with respect. It teaches them winning and losing with respect. It also teaches them letting go of mistakes and learning from those mistakes and improving on one's person. And, uh, in addition to economic and social impact of South here in the country, there's also a cultural influence in the country. Uh, when I talk about cultural influence, I mean uh, these kids are born into the sport. They're born into the sport. And uh, they don't know it, but they're born into the sport, in the sport. And at a young age, they start playing. And no matter what age they play, and uh, like many of the kids, they don't have like they're uh, they're the poor community, so they don't have their parents don't have the money to afford them like toys or things such as that like we do here. So the best they could do is uh, give them soccer balls, and if they can't afford soccer balls, like they make they make their own soccer balls with different materials that they are that they have, and uh, the whole country embraces soccer. For example, on uh, days where the national team plays. The government issues a day where 
This is the day off for all the employees during those two hours that the game is played. So let's say a game is played uh, today at 12, or from 12 to 2, the, all the government people that work uh, take off the day, like the government gives them a day off, and they're able to go home and watch the game. And then uh, values and beliefs are passed on from generation to generation. As I said, kids have grown up, grow up playing the sport, and uh, this ultimately leads them, leads them to learn the sport when they grow up, and those people then take that, they give it to their children, and so on. Um, and oh, and uh, this picture right here is uh, a favela in Brazil, it's in Rio de Janeiro, and you see that it's even like in tight little spaces, they take time, and they play pickup games, no matter what time it is. And it's very important to learn socially and culturally. And uh, in conclusion, we see that soccer can be more than just a sport. While many of us don't think much of soccer as being all that important, we really see it as an economic, social, and cultural influence in their country. And this is why they refer to the country as O País do Fushibo. And I, I end my uh, presentation asking you guys to think about soccer next time you see somebody play it in the Johnson Field or somewhere a park across town and think of it more than just a sport and think of it as uh, something important to another culture or other people or other persons to lead. And uh, I conclude my speech with that and thank you very much.